the titles have gone a bit of a transformation. You moved from India to Bharat. What led to this change of both the visualization of the country as such and its role? I speak really for a polity which has been there for thousands of years. You want to be a player, you don't want to be a playing field. We spoke about your first book, it, I think it was during the pandemic, at the, literally in between some waves. Uh, I remember we were masked up and having a conversation on the book. It was titled The India Way. Mm -hmm. And your second book was called Bharat Matters. So, uh, the titles have gone a bit of a transformation. You moved from India to Bharat. And the first one was about the way, the second is about uh, India's significance in, in, in people's lives. What led to this change of both the visualization of the country as such and its role? Well, uh, I think uh, when I used the word Bharat in the second book, uh, Why Bharat Matters, uh, as opposed to uh, the India way, you know, one, uh, I'm trying to capture really a kind of a, uh, the, the, uh, the transformation which has taken place in our society, in our polity, in our mindset, in our approach to the world. And uh, in many ways you have, if you look at, you know, the thought processes which are driving us today, uh, I would say they are much more authentic, they are much more deeply rooted in our culture, in our traditions, uh, in our heritage. So that is one part of it. And, and you know, uh, there is, remember, there's a bigger exercise in the world of cultural rebalancing mm -hmm. that we've seen economic rebalancing uh, through, particularly uh, through globalization. We have seen political rebalancing, but the third phase of it is really today uh, cultural culture. rebalancing. So there's a, there's a bigger conversation there which is going on as well. Uh, so an India which is much more conscious of its culture, history and traditions which, for example, remembers its linkages, you know. Uh, I, I give you a very practical example. Uh, the Gulf, you know, the Gulf, our linkages with the Gulf are as old as the monsoon. That people traversed this space because of the winds. And yet, a, you know, a region which is so close to us, with which we had such deep linkages, Somewhere in the quest for modernity, we let go of that connection. The same applied actually to the oceans, that if you look, uh, you know, at, at the islands uh, uh, in the Indian Ocean, or if you look east of India, that, you know, you can actually find uh, very, uh, even today, uh, very significant evidence of major Indian uh, civilizations uh, which were uh, sort of all the way up to the east coast of China. Uh, so, uh, so part of it is also today, uh, once you start thinking of yourself as a civilizational state, you remember your culture, your traditions, you then, re you, you revisit, you know, your mm -hmm. history. You draw from that and once you do that, you get a different level of confidence. So, you know, you, you have difficult situations where you think of yourself, you know, as I do, that, look, I, I, speak, uh, I speak really for a polity which has been there for thousands of years. So you take your decisions with a certain, both with a certain confidence, but also with a certain deliberation of the consequences of it uh, for years ahead. And then there is a self-reliant uh, side to it, which is, you know, you, you want to be uh, less vulnerable, you want to be less dependent, you want to be a player, you don't want to be a playing field. So, I think it was a combination of all these factors, I felt we had made that transition, especially in the last five years. And that's why the title of the second book as opposed to the first. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our videos and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest.